It is the 10th video of the series of LabVIEW signal processing. In this video, we will discuss and we will learn the difference between FFT and power spectrum. So for that, we need to start our LabVIEW. Open your LabVIEW. Design the frequency control, sampling frequency and number of sample control with the representation of I32. Okay. Now, come into the block diagram. Right click in the block diagram. Okay. Now we will discuss about the, we will design one, we will write one code to observe that. So the main difference between power uh, spectrum and uh, FFT is the power spectrum is obtained by squaring the magnitude of FFT okay the division by root over 2 so I will show you how can we plot so I am going to write the concepts in okay so what is the concept of power spectrum here now let's start designing We need one more that will be the amplitude but that is not important but we will use amplitude now right click take a divide and divide Sampling uh, frequency with the sampling frequency. After that, come here. Come into signal processing. In this signal processing, come inside the wave signal generation. Inside the signal generation, in the first column, third number, you will get sine wave. Wave. Take the sine wave and connect this frequency with the sine wave. Okay. Now connect the sample this one after that we need one Fourier transform okay so for that we'll come into the transformations take we will take these transformations and will write in this transformations we will use the real time okay we will use the uh, real FFT now Take a divide function again to divide the FFT value with the number of sample. And again we will divide the FFT value, not FFT value, this number of sample with the If you want, so no need. Okay, just try uh, try to write directly. Let's try to find the double side one. Okay, so for the double side one, no need to do anything. Just come here and take this complex functions and divide. Okay, now. After this complex function, let's try to plot something and we'll try to check what kind of output is coming out after this arrangement. Okay. Hmm. But here we will multiply this 
output we will multiply this output with 2 okay now let's take one array index function index array functions connect here and take the first value of this index after that take the replace array element replace array so this will be our input and this will be that replaced value and index value will be same so here I am multiplying this value with the 2 why because due to this concept okay it's pi by 2 okay square root 2 sorry not pi by 2 it's square root 2 okay so now this concept after that I will divide this output with the root over 2 constant value 2 now root over 2 concepts has been come here let's try let's take one bundle functions let's design one frequency spacing so for the frequency spacing we will divide this sample frequency okay frequency sorry sample frequency with the number of sample in this way it will generate frequency spacing we need one t0 sorry del, uh, t0 right we need one t0 Let's connect this frequency spacing. And so this will be our main FFT. After that, I will use one square root LU, square function here. Right? I will copy this concept here. I will connect this square value with the output of this and I will connect this will this uh, this is the frequency spacing value this will generate FFT and it will and another will generate FFT and another will generate spectrum Okay, power spectrum. Power spectrum. Let's come into the front panel and run. Now it is double side band FFT, but the power spectrum's value FFT value is one and power spectrum value is 0.5. always the FFT value will be more than power spectrum value okay it is 1 and it is a point 5 so please design this concepts So thank you for watching this video.